Look at me. What do you see? I tried to ignore all the pain that had come and gone before. It was just us and them. As I said, just because you can't see something doesn't mean it won't exist. You can't measure pain with a statistic. Lips whispered in the corridor. I think there's something wrong with her. My heart pounds and my vision blurs. I said, help. I've lost all feeling in my arms and legs. They said, quit it. They'll kick you out of school if they find out. The symptoms of your disability are invisible. The door they closed like curves in bones, rotten stones holding on for a life of pain. I averted my eyes to shut out knowing because I did not want the sight of the world to reach me. In hospital beds, on IV drips, needles and x-rays, as gold medals, four nations, and the saddle we won from days of competition gathered in dirt as the dust began to settle. I tried to ignore all the pain that had come and gone before. It was just us and them. As I said, what will become of this life? Then I realised. You get one life, one opportunity, one chance to become who you want to be. So what will you do with this life you've been given? Who will you become in the end? My heart was warm, but my body was cold. And I wondered, how many more kids in the world were left without a future? And they replied, 15% of 7.1 million, unvoiced, unrecognized, undiscovered. One million potential competitors and we don't even know their names. Gold medals, four nations, and the saddle that I had won from days of competition. As I realized that I tried to ignore all the pain that had come and gone before. As back then, it was them and me. But now it's on us. Now it's we.